Alrighty, hello, hello, hello! Hope everybody is having a fantastic Halloween! It is Halloween of 2023, and I am just recording a short little unscripted video talking about the newsletter. Came out for me last night. I was lying in bed. It was 11 o'clock. I had hoped to be asleep by 10, but the best laid plans of mice and men and all. Anyway, what a delightful little surprise. I believe I heard earlier that day, uh, as in yesterday for me, uh, in my Discord that people had said that the site had gone down. I don't know if this is related to that, because as far as I know, the newsletter is just an email that you get. But very, very exciting nonetheless. Um, I certainly didn't expect anything this Halloween, and I also clearly... <laughs> Didn't have anything prepared. In a better world, maybe I would be releasing my next uh, Deltarune Theory Basics video, but alas, this is the world we live in, and it is not ready yet. All right, anyway, focusing on the newsletter. It's just a cute little thing. I really like the beginning. If a little bit of a, what, a jump scare that it says my name. I imagine all of them are just kind of, you know, personalized by whatever name you put into the newsletter, but still, it was very cute and made me feel very special. And I like the little ghost Toby. And of course, everybody's Halloween costumes are perfect. And I love that Sans never changes, of course. Alright, first it talks about progress on Chapter 3, as most of us were pretty much aware, I believe. Chapter 3 of Deltarune is pretty much done from the sound of it. It's had a test run, uh, it's had some bullet patterns that are being cleaned up, but overall it's done. I remember a lot of people saying that they were really hoping that when Chapter 3 came out they thought that it would be released. I personally never believed that, so I'm not surprised that it's almost done and we're not getting Chapter 3. However, relevant to that is that the uh, release strategy has changed. I have always been a strong believer that chapter 3, 4, and 5 would be released together like Toby Fox said it would be. But it seems like since then Toby has decided to change things up just because it's taken too long. I, well, ugh. okay, let me rephrase that. Not that it's taken too long. It's taken as much time as it needs to. I, Deltarune can take as long as it needs. I'm not in any rush, personally. That being said, though, it seems like Toby Fox doesn't want to leave us. Mr. Fox doesn't want to leave us without content for too long. So, because of that, he has decided to release chapters 3 and 4 once 4 is done. Uh, we know that they've started work on chapter 4. I can't, I don't believe... Oh, here we go. Chapter 4 already has a very substantial amount of cutscenes and enemy work done. As well as a new producer whose entire job is to be... is to speed it up. So, hopefully, uh, chapter 3 and 4 will be released soon. Now these are... chapters 1 and 2 were released for free. Chapters 3 and 4 are going to be a paid product, which they should be. Honestly, chapters 1 and 2 are well worth, I don't know, $20? I'd pay $20 for them. I'd pay $40 for them, probably. Because video games are expensive. i definitely at least pay $20. Um, that's not important. I'll pay whatever price for Deltarune, let's be real here. Um, anyway, though. Uh, so, chapter 3 and 4 are almost done. So, I would say that probably they're going to be released around quarter two of next year, if I were to give an estimate. Uh, quarter three, I could see being plausible. Uh, maybe it would come out on Halloween again. That would nicely line up uh, with the last time, but I think that they'll just go for whatever date they feel like. Um, so, yeah. My money is on quarter two. Quarter one feels too soon. Definitely not this winter. Also, of course, I really like the little costume changes. How cute. I do find it interesting that Chris is, uh, so like Ralsei wears a dress and Chris is very clearly not in a dress. 
So, I don't know. I like to draw Chris. I think Chris looks nice in a skirt, but it also speaks to character of that perhaps Chris does not enjoy being in skirts and dresses. I don't know. When you only have two chapters to work with for characterization, and the characterization for Chris is there, but more subtle, you take what you can get. And of course, so glad to see that Mew Mew has not been forgotten. The development team. This one I'll let you guys read on your own. It's just kind of an interview with all of the crew who has been added. I do find it really interesting that I believe it's this one. One moment while I look at the name. Uh, Chess. Chess has been part of the team since Undertale's development. I feel like we don't hear a lot about the people who were a part of Undertale. Because while it is commonly said that Undertale was a game made by one person, and I'm not about to act like Toby Fox did not do most of the work. He didn't do all of the work. Everybody knows that Temney helped out. And it doesn't surprise me that there was somebody else who had maybe a little bit of a hand in some of the development. And I also, just in general, I really like how everybody has their little spite sprites. Uh, taxi uh, there's also, let's see, Fred Wood. Jean Canellas? Canea? Canellas? I'm sorry if I'm butchering that. Um, and Taxidermy. Again, I think it's great that we're getting to shed some light on some of the other people on the team. I also just kind of love this little sprite slash concept. I don't know, it's really fascinating for me to look at. It... In general, I find animation so, so very cool. Oh, and also, I really, really like the bit about the birdly. I think it's <laughs> very funny that everybody thought that it was a little emblem on his chest. But actually, it's just a pocket, and you can see that it's just a pocket from the other one. And I love that there was an idea to kind of simplify him down at one point, so that it would be easier to make sprites of it. But then Temi just said, no, I'll power through it. Simplify it a little bit, and we'll just go with the more complex one, though. Which I think pays off a lot, because his complex design says a lot about Birdly. Um, and then, conclusion. It's already over. And there was nobody underneath. Was it a ghost? So, yeah. Not much else to say about the um, newsletter. It's just a nice, simple newsletter to let people know where Toby's head is at. A little treat for Halloween, considering that chapter one. Yeah. Chapter one came out on Halloween. So yeah, this was just kind of fun to go through really quick. Let me know if you guys would love for me to do more of these little things when other newsletters come out. Uh, I had started my YouTube being a Deltarune YouTuber when the last newsletter came out, the fall one. But I figured that a lot of people wouldn't be interested because every Deltarune YouTuber and their mom were making a video about it. But I don't know, it's kind of fun just to kind of quickly go through and talk about where everybody's head is at. Anyway, have a spooky Halloween. But replay Deltarune, I don't know. Uh, sorry about how long it's taking to get the next video out. I'm very busy. I'm well in the works, and I will finish it <laughs> eventually. I'm not making any kind of promises. Uh, bye-bye!